Hi everybody, thank you for coming back to the channel. Um, welcome to the latest video. Now, in the summer of 2010, which seemed quite late to launch a PlayStation 2, Sony did just that. They put one of these into one of these, and we got this love child, the Sony Bravia with a built-in PS2. So, also known as the KDL 22 PX300 LCD TV, they took a Sony Bravia 22 inch LCD TV and they put it on a nice looking base that cunningly hid a PlayStation 2. Now the TV made its way to UK shores in very, very limited quantities in the December of 2010 and it was only available in certain outlets of a shop called Richer Sounds and it was priced at £200. Um, now back then that was pretty much cheaper than buying a new DVD player. Um, there were TVs around that obviously had built in DVD players, they'd been around since the 90s. Um, but the fact that you were getting a free PS2 built in as well was tremendous. Um, so let's, uh, let's have a look at this um, remarkable piece of kit. So here it is, switched on and in PS2 mode. Now it has a picture output of 720i, which was pretty good back in the day. Um, we have four, that's right, four HDMI sockets, and they're all capable of outputting at 1080p. Here's a close look at that base, and there we have it. And then we built in PS2. Standard sockets, we've got two controllers, two memory cards, open, and it doesn't eject the PS2, you get a little nifty little door here that opens and you can pop your game into. Okay, let's have a quick look at the back of the TV. Okay, so we've got our uh, composite connections there, there's two of the HDMI ports, USB, there's two more of the HDMI, SCART, EGA, your standard uh, TV aerial, and we've got an Ethernet plug there as well. Yeah, it's a little bit thick by today's standards, but you know, 10 years ago. It was pretty good. Okay, let's have a look at it in action. Okay, so I have popped in um, a memory card and standard PS2 controller. We popped in a game. We close that and it should start to load up. Now the story goes that um, this got built because Sony in 2010 had a surplus supply of PAL and um, PlayStation 2 hardware and um, you know rather than just dumping them somewhere they um, gave like a bit of a side project to an intern um, and this is literally what he came up with the idea of um, getting rid of the excess hardware popping them into these TVs and this was the result a limited number of these were made they never made it across to the states they only came out in Japan and they, like I said their limited number made it over to the UK shows um, but there was no more after they sold out from being available on Richie Sounds. That was it, they were gone, which is why they're pretty hard to come by these days. Yeah, that's pretty nice. So we're gonna have a look at a bit of gameplay. An absolute belter. You're tuned to I haven't played this game for so long. Gymnastics and snowboarding so 
So I think the picture quality is really good. Um, considering it's PS2, sometimes the graphics can look a bit blocky on the new TVs. Um, this looks absolutely awesome. Yeah, let's uh, let's quickly have a look at um, another game, yeah, and then we'll have a look um, at a different device. So there we are, let's, uh, let's look at a different game. I'm going to say I think the uh, picture quality is awesome for the, uh, for the technology and the age of the machine. Um, I think it's a nice looking machine. Yeah, it's, uh, it wasn't thought out the greatest, it clearly just as a TV stuck on top of a PS2. But it's a nice looking PS2. Um, yeah, so I, uh, I picked this up off... Um, Facebook Marketplace, I believe, um, for a pretty reasonable price. Okay, so here we are. Um, I have got the uh, mini SNES running through this as well. As you can see, it's a really nice picture. There we go. I'm pretty sure this is coming through in 1080, um, given the fact that that's what the High definition PS Mini is. Yep, as you can see the screen, it's really nice. Great picture quality. And it's just a really nice size TV as well. I've also got the PS4 hooked up to it as well. You can see the, uh, the PS4 camera as well. That looks great on it as well. So yeah, there's um, just a different device running rather than the PS2. There we go, brilliant. So yeah, um, so we also get this control with this. There we are. Um, there are a lot of buttons on this control. And I'm not sure what half of them do. Watch, I didn't get any instruction on um, You can see the power on for the PS2 on the TV. They've got separate power buttons. Um, it is wireless enabled, this TV as well, although you've got to have a USB adapter. Um, unfortunately, it's not built in. I suppose back in 2010, wireless wasn't um, as prominent as it is now in devices. But yeah, that's the uh, remote that comes with it as well. And there we have it the, uh, the Sony Bravia with built in PS2. Up until a few months ago, I didn't even know these existed. Let me know if you did, let me know if you've got one, let me know what you think of it. As usual, thank you very much for watching this video, and I hope to see you again soon. Take care now. Bye.